Hey, hey, welcome aboard. I'm Latricia Spagna, and these are my Lhasa Apso babies. I have puppies, y'all. <laughs> puppies galore. Had three litters, now I'm down to two. And even these are aging out. Next week they are going home. A few housekeeping things first off. If you want to continue to get updates about my babies, oh, making a break for it. There goes Bruns. Please like, subscribe, and share. Also, remember to hit the notification bell so you will know when new videos are uploaded. All right, these are Lhasa Apso puppies, seven weeks old, purebred. They are from Serenity's Litter, and this lovely lady is bronze. She is not impressed with the bed, <laughs> the play area pillow that I bought her. She has jumped down. Ah, and there goes another one. Another one bites the dust. Sable's going to. And of course, once Sable comes down, just a matter of time before Raven comes out too. So she'll be down, I suspect. She's a little more tentative than her sisters. She's a little more careful. But these two, man, everywhere. <laughs> Let's introduce you to them one at a time. This little darling right here. This is bronze. Let's turn you around, bronze, so we can see you. There you go. There she is. There's bronze. Bronze is the second largest of these three. Her coloring is beautiful. She's more red than the others. She's still brownish, beigeish with some black markings. But for the most part, she's reddish. So there she is. She wants to get down and run some more. So <laughs> we're going to let her do that. That's bronze, ladies and gentlemen. She was a deeper red when she was born. That's why I named her bronze. But she didn't want to stay that color. So she switched up and now everybody wants to chew on my toe and sniff my feet. Okay, fine. Perfect. <laughs> I guess that's what we're going to do for fun today. I'm letting them down and just kind of letting them roam around so you can get a feel for their personality. These three are pretty active, but not all over the place. Some of the pups, if you've watched any of my other videos, man, some of them are just everywhere. I was hoping to keep them in one area, but Raven isn't having it. She wants to get through my roadblocks and go exploring. So I guess you'll be next. You want to be next? All right. I'll put her in my lap. Otherwise, I don't think she's going to stay put long enough to get her face on video. There she is. Hello there. Hello there, pretty girl. This is Raven. Say hi, hi. Hi, hi, hi. She is the darkest of my litter. Pull back some so you can see her with a little more detail. When she was born, she was completely black. And now her coloring has changed. Her top of her head has been starting to turn brown, but now it's snaking down the rest of her back too. So she's not nearly as dark as she was, but she is still the darkest of my litter. And heavy, man, trying to hold you with one hand, that's fun. See, she's totally still when I pick her up. Put her on the floor, she was all over the place. But <laughs> pick her up, and she's like, okay. I'm literally holding her in the air. Look at her feet, not touching the floor at all. She doesn't care. She's not sad, she's not crying, she's not squirming. She's used to me by now. I'm the crazy mommy lady who comes around to make videos <laughs> and brings food and water and cleans pens, so she's totally used to me. Bronze has decided to come back. She's a little curious with the ball. Not real excited, but wondering, what is this thing? What do I do with it? What's it for? It's for playing. There's also a little red bone that they are ignoring. I never know what my kiddos are gonna like. It's kind of trial and error. I buy something, I throw it in with my dogs. Sometimes they want it, sometimes they don't. Raven is not big on toys. She likes to play with the other dogs and she likes to play with me. 
But normally she ignores the toys. I'm surprised she's even studying them right now. This little darling is Sable right here. Sable is my tiny baby. Oh, she is the smallest of all of my little ones. I think she was last born. She was the final one. Serenity was taking so long with her babies. She went in to um, labor in the evening time. And it drug on for hours. And finally, I said, sister girl, I have to go to bed. I will see you in the morning. It's not her first litter. She's done this before. She knows what she's doing. So I said, I'll be back. And when I came back, there was Sable. So and she wasn't the tiny little one in the beginning. There was no little tiny one. So I think she was last. Sable's number five. She's very dark in her face, similar to Raven. Where are you trying to go? And unlike Raven, she is not content <laughs> to hang here in midair while I do my video. She wants down. So we're not going to have her up here too long. But this is her face. She has teeth, dark muzzle. She's a little darker in the back, but nowhere near the black that Raven is. Little white tip on her tail. Her tail is black too. I'm going to put her back down so she can romp with her sisters. Oh, look who decided to get back in ah, and play with a toy. Surprise, surprise. Never seen her do that before. The other two, nah, I don't think so. I think I want to just roam around and sniff things, smell things, chew on her feet. Yes, my feet with your little sharp teeth. Man, little sharp teeth. They do chew on things, guys. So if you have things sitting out, if you're like me, you come home at the end of the day, you kick your shoes off and you just let them drop wherever they drop. Might not be a good idea because they will chew on them. They will probably chew on anything that's on the floor. So you need to walk through wherever they are and kind of do a sweep. Paper clips that are on the floor, any staples that have fallen on the floor, pencil erasers, all that is a no-no. They will get into it. They will chew it. They will try to swallow it. They will choke. It will not end well at all. So houseproofing is going to be needed. So I've shown five, <laughs> five dogs in the video in the last like 15 minutes, and they were all active. They were all sniffing and looking and checking things out. So it's very likely that when they come home, they're going to do the same thing. For some reason, they're liking my toes. I'm trying to keep my toes out of the video, but I need them in the video and they're liking my toes. So good thing I don't have unholy socks, huh? All right. So that young lady over there, that's Sable running around. Yes, she knows I'm talking about her too. She's like, what do you want? And that's bronze. Oh, she's active. Look at her go. Just spinning in a circle. Everywhere. I'm everywhere. I'm here. I'm there. I'm everywhere. And then, of course, there is Raven. Oh, you can see them together. You see the size difference. Raven is so much bigger. Sable is so much smaller. <laughs> and now we're going to chase each other around the pillow. Okay. Whatever floats your boat, guys. I keep getting questions. What's their personality like? Now you get to see. Now you get to see their personality. And Bronze just went pee-pee on the potty. She's coming along with her potty training. She could have peed anywhere. She could have peed there. She could have peed there. She could have peed on my carpet, but she didn't. She came right over here and peed where she's supposed to. Good girl. Now, if you can just teach everyone else to do that, it will be awesome. All right, so... We are going to go. Puppy pickup is next week and they will be going home, guys. Thanks for checking in. See you later. Bye.